It really does seem like Trump may have a point when it comes to mainstream media. They really do, at least some of the time, seem like they're the enemy of the people. In my last community post, I talked about how CNN and a number of other mainstream news outlets essentially tarred and feathered Howard Dean because he dared to get excited during a speech. And you know something? You know something? Not only are we going to New Hampshire, Tom Harkin, we're going to South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. And we're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! It got known as the I have a scream speech. It never made any sense to me. There was nothing wrong with someone getting excited during a speech. I mean, as you can see by the clip, you know, there wasn't really anything wrong with it. But mainstream news media wanted John Kerry to win the primaries. Myself and many others knew that John Kerry really didn't have much of a chance in the final election. Oh, but he was a safe candidate. He said presidential-sounding phrases. He had that presidential look. He sort of looked like Andrew Jackson. Howard Dean was truly anti-war. He was too anti-establishment for mainstream media. And so they did everything they could to demonize him. And they succeeded. We all fell for it. Or, well, I didn't fall for it, but enough people fell for it that, you know, well, oh, John Kerry. John Kerry. It seems that as much as mainstream media pretended to hate Bush, they secretly loved him. In 2016, it seems that mainstream news media wanted Hillary to win the primaries. Myself and a number of others knew that Hillary would not win in the final election. I voted for Hillary, but I knew she wouldn't win. People like myself wanted Bernie to win the primaries. We can obviously see how it panned out when mainstream media put Hillary up on a pedestal. In 2016, as much as mainstream media pretended to hate Trump, I think they loved him. Trump gave them the viewership they could ever ask for. And now in 2020, we have mainstream media demonizing Bernie Sanders at all costs. They truly seem to hate Bernie a lot more than they claim to hate Trump. To the point where we now have old Joe Biden, who acts like an old man with dementia, who campaigned with the catchphrase, no malarkey, and talks about phonograph records, who doesn't seem mentally present half the time. We have him as the chosen one by mainstream media, except Fox, of course. Yeah, as much as mainstream media pretends to hate Trump, it seems they actually really love him. Or at least they hate the kind of change that someone like Bernie actually stands for. They fight hard for the status quo. It's just really disappointing, you know? Anyway. <laughs>